tourists on the planet go to Eiffel Tower. Tower of Steel <laughs> And every time I have looked at it, I thought this is a engineering monstrosity. You could build that with half the steel, but somebody built it that way. <laughs> it's like the Studebaker. You know what Studebaker? You know the cars? Hello? You not seen a Studebaker? Studebaker? You have it in Belarus? You don't have. In Hyderabad people must know, they're still using it for their weddings. <laughs> they cut off the tops of course, but uh, it has wings and uh, everything. You could have made it into a battleship. There is enough metal to make a ship out of it, but they made a car out of it. You don't call that engineering, you don't call the technology, okay? Because anybody can build that. The whole thing about engineering is with minimum you did the maximum, then it's engineering. Hello? So Eiffel Tower draws the highest number of people on the planet as a single tourist entity. I thought, oh, not even Mount Everest, Eiffel Tower. This is incredible, this shows where people are, all right? I, I think they're going to Eiffel Tower in the morning and waiting for the evening because something else is drawing them. <laughs> so, uh, maybe it's a misrepresentation of stats, but the statistics say Eiffel Tower draws the highest number of people on the planet per year. When I saw that, I thought we should change it. And now we are here in Kashi, a tower of light should draw more people than a tower of steel. <laughs> Because towers are built, various kinds of towers, always kings and, you know, when they conquer a land or when they commemorate their uh, glorious reign, usually glorious reign for them is always a horrendous life for the rest. Normally anywhere in the world, I'm not trying to comment about any one country, anywhere in the world, Whenever a king or an emperor says he had a glorious reign, it means a horrendous life for the rest of the people. I shouldn't comment about this <laughs> So, uh, this is because we have been taught to celebrate and appreciate dominance. Something that stands up like this. This is our idea of strength. If you don't change this, there is no such thing as spiritual process for you. If you always understand, this is strength, then you will not know what it is because you are not using the physical as a platform to stand upon, you're carrying it on your head, you will never know anything. So very, very important, we understand strength and power in a completely different way. Uh, I want to ask you, see, uh, when somebody drops a bomb, whether it is uh, packed in my body or it drops from the sky. When we drop a bomb, we want maximum damage, hello? Because we spend money on it. Please understand the economics of it. When we drop a bomb, we want maximum number of damages to happen, especially damage means generally human beings. 
This hall looks like a very prime location.